Hello, everyone. Welcome to our show. My name is Emma. Today, we have a special story for you. Hello, I'm Anna. I will tell you a story about a trip from Germany to London. It's a nice story. I hope you like it. Thank you, Anna. Let's start our story time. Lena was a young woman who lived in Germany. She had always dreamed of visiting London, the capital of England. She loved the English language and culture, and she wanted to see the famous landmarks like Big Ben, the London Eye, and Buckingham Palace. One day, she saw an advertisement for a cheap flight to London. She decided to book it right away as it was a great opportunity to fulfill her dream. She was very excited and happy. She told her family and friends about her plan, and they were happy for her too. She had two weeks to prepare for her trip. She packed her suitcase with clothes, shoes, toiletries, and some books. She also bought a guidebook and a map of London. She studied them carefully and marked the places she wanted to visit. She also downloaded some apps on her phone to help her with the transportation, currency, and weather in London. She also practiced her English skills. She watched some movies and shows in English and listened to some podcasts and songs. She tried to speak English with her friends and family, even though they laughed at her sometimes. She wanted to be able to communicate with the people in London and make some new friends. The day of her departure finally arrived. She woke up early and checked her suitcase. She made sure she had her passport, ticket, and money. She said goodbye to her family and took a taxi to the airport. She checked in and boarded the plane. She was nervous and excited at the same time. She looked out of the window and saw the clouds and the sky. She wondered what London would be like. She arrived in London after a few hours. She went through the customs and immigration. She showed her passport and answered some questions. She collected her suitcase and exited the airport. She felt a rush of adrenaline as she stepped into a new country. She smelled the air and heard the sounds of the city. She saw the red buses, the black taxis, and the people walking on the streets. She felt a bit overwhelmed, but also curious and eager to explore. She took a bus to her hotel. She had booked a cheap and cozy room online. She checked in and went to her room. She unpacked her suitcase and took a shower. She felt refreshed and ready to start her adventure. She looked at her guidebook and map and decided to visit the Tower of London first. She had read that it was a historic castle and a museum where she could see the crown jewels, the armors, and the ravens. She walked to the nearest bus stop and waited for the bus. She saw a lot of people from different countries and backgrounds. She heard them speaking different languages and accents. She felt like she was in a multicultural and cosmopolitan city. She smiled and tried to say hello to some of them. Some of them smiled back and said hello, too. Some of them ignored her or looked at her strangely. She didn't mind. 
she knew that not everyone was friendly or interested in talking to strangers. She got on the bus and paid the fare. She found a seat and looked out of the window. She saw the buildings, the shops, the parks, and the monuments. She saw the signs and the advertisements in English. She tried to read them and understand them. She felt proud of herself when she could. She felt confused when she couldn't. She asked the driver or the passengers for help when she needed. Some of them were helpful and kind. Some of them were rude and impatient. She thanked them anyway. She arrived at the Tower of London. She got off the bus and walked to the entrance. She bought a ticket and entered the castle. She followed the signs and the audio guide. She saw the walls, the towers, the gates, and the bridges. She saw the guards, the guides, the tourists, and the exhibits. She saw the jewels, the weapons, the clothes, and the animals. She learned about the history, the legends, the secrets, and the stories of the tower. She was amazed and fascinated by everything she saw and heard. She took a lot of pictures and videos. She also bought some souvenirs and postcards. She spent a few hours at the Tower of London. She enjoyed every minute of it. She felt like she had traveled back in time and witnessed a part of the British history and culture. She felt happy and satisfied. She decided to visit another place before going back to her hotel. She looked at her guidebook and map and chose to visit the London Eye. She had read that it was a giant Ferris wheel that offered a panoramic view of the city. She walked to the nearest bus stop and waited for the bus. She saw the sun setting and the sky changing colors. She saw the lights turning on and the city glowing. She felt a bit tired, but also excited to see London at night. She got on the bus and paid the fare. She found a seat and looked out of the window. She saw the river, the bridges, the buildings, and the landmarks. She saw the people, the cars, the bikes, and the boats. She saw the life and the movement of the city. She felt a part of it. She arrived at the London Eye. She got off the bus and walked to the entrance. She bought a ticket and joined the queue. She waited for her turn to get on the wheel. She saw the other pods, the other people, and the other views. She felt a bit nervous, but also curious and eager to see the city from above. She got on the pod and sat on a seat. She saw the wheel moving and the pod rising. She saw the city getting smaller and the horizon getting wider. She saw the lights, the colors, the shapes, and the shadows. She saw the beauty and the wonder of the city. She felt a thrill and a joy. She took a lot of pictures and videos. She also made some wishes and dreams. She spent about 30 minutes on the London Eye. She loved every second of it. 
she felt like she had seen the whole city and its soul. She felt happy and grateful. She decided to go back to her hotel and rest. She looked at her guidebook and map and found the nearest bus stop. She walked to it and waited for the bus. She saw the stars and the moon in the sky. She saw the people and the city going to sleep. She felt a bit cold, but also warm and cozy. She got on the bus and paid the fare. She found a seat and closed her eyes. She thought about her day and her trip. She felt proud and lucky. She smiled and fell asleep. She arrived at her hotel. She got off the bus and walked to her room. She opened the door and entered. She put her things on the bed and took off her clothes. She put on her pajamas and brushed her teeth. She crawled into the bed and turned off the light. She felt the softness and the warmth of the bed. She felt the tiredness and the relaxation of her body. She felt the happiness and the peace of her mind. She said good night to herself and to London. She closed her eyes and drifted into a deep sleep. She dreamed of her next day and her next adventure. Thank you, Anna, for this beautiful story. That's our story for today. If you enjoyed it and want to hear more, please join us again. We have many more stories to share with you. Remember, every journey has its own tale, and we can't wait to explore them with you. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye for now, and we hope to welcome you back soon for another adventure. Thank you for tuning in to English Fluent. If you are enjoying our content, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us bring you more great podcasts just like this one. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest episodes. Thanks for your patience and let's continue our journey to fluency together.